in the quiet suburb of Samora Michelle, Cape Town. A shocking and gruesome discovery was made on the 30th of December 2023. The dismembered body of Wusiswe Mtetwa, a 56-year-old woman, was found stuffed in a chest freezer in her own home. The prime suspect was her boyfriend, Brian Miripiri, a Zimbabwe national who had been living with her for two years. But how did this horrific crime unfold? What drove Brian to allegedly kill his girlfriend and hide her remains in such a cold and callous manner? The last time anyone heard from Wusiswem Tetwa was on the 28th of December 2023. She had sent a text message to her sister saying that she was fine and that she loved her. She also told her sister in the text that she was planning to travel to the Eastern Cape to visit some relatives. But this was apparently a lie. It was a lie that Miripiri had allegedly forced her to tell. According to the police and the family, Miripiri had killed Mtetwa on that same day after a violent altercation in their shack. He had then chopped up her body with a knife and placed her pieces in a freezer, covering them with car parts and other items. He had also ransacked the kitchen and left blood stains on the curtains, which was evidence of the brutal murder. Miripiri did not stop there. He also took her phone and used it to send messages to her family and friends pretending that she was still alive and that she had gone to the Eastern Cape. He had also tried to sell some of her belongings, such as a TV and a fridge, to the neighbors. And he even brought another woman to the shack and spent the night with her while Mtetwa's body was in the freezer. On the 30th of December 2023, Mtetwa's relatives became suspicious and decided to visit her home. They found the shack locked and Miripiri was nowhere to be seen. They then went to the police station and asked for an escort. When they returned, they saw Miripiri in the road and the police told him to open the door. When he opened the door, that's when they made the grisly discovery. Chetwa's brother noticed that there were things piled inside the freezer. When he removed the heaviest item, he saw his sister's body in pieces. He screamed in horror and disbelief. Miripiri was immediately arrested and charged with murder. Miripiri appeared in the Athlon Magistrates Court on the 3rd of January 2024. He chose a legal aid lawyer to represent him. The state opposed his bail application, citing the seriousness of the crime and the risk of him fleeing the country, as he was a Zimbabwean, and the case was postponed until the 10th of January 2024. Meanwhile, the community of Samora Michelle was outraged by the heinous crime. They gathered outside the court and demanded justice from Tietwa. They also planned to start a petition and attend the next court appearance. Jackie Samuels, the chairperson of the Samora Michelle Community Police Forum, expressed her anger and hurt. She said, how long must women suffer at the hands of men? He was so calm when he was asked about her whereabouts and lied. He even went to get another woman and slept with her in the same room, in the same shack. The Freezer Killer case has raised so many questions about the safety and dignity of women in South Africa a country with one of the highest rates of femicides in the world. It has also exposed the dark side of love and betrayal and the horror that can lurk behind closed doors.